Um, today we're going to preview workshop five. So we're starting a new workshop and we're going to discuss a video about Vandy Verma, a woman who is working on a space mission to Mars. Okay. So we're going to be introducing, or we're going to start a new workshop. Okay. So just be, get ready to learn about Mars and space mm -hmm. exploration. Okay. So just listen, listen, I'm going to read the paragraph on page. 234 out loud, okay, the, the word, or right word under where it says to Mars and beyond. Okay, so just listen out loud. Are we alone in the universe? Scientists are still searching for the answer. Our neighbor Mars may offer clues. Could it also offer a new home? Okay, so I'm going to ask you this question. Based on the title of the workshop and the introductory text, what kind of clues do you think scientists are looking for? Okay, what do you think we're going to be exploring in this? Okay, so I want you guys to write this down on your page. Okay, so you're going to write, I think we will be exploring, and then you're going to put, you're going to fill something out in the blank. What in the workshop? Do you want us to write these on here? Yeah, write it on the, yeah, write it on your paper that I gave you, the little half sheet of paper. All right, boys, half sheet of paper. Okay, you're gonna write this sentence on your half sheet of paper. Okay, you're gonna look at the title, the pictures here, and you're gonna write this down. I think we will be exploring. Okay, so we're writing this sentence down. I think we'll be exploring what? You tell me, blank in this workshop. Yeah, you don't need to draw a line here. You guys just fill in the blank, okay? So, you guys look at the pictures here, look at the title, okay? Okay, so guys, let you start, start writing this down. So, I think we'll, we will be exploring, okay? The title is To Mars and Beyond, okay? Take a look at the pictures there. Okay, there's that picture. There's also this one too. So, you know, I was watching Star Wars last night. So, just give me Star some flashbacks. Like Actually, okay, well, okay, I take that back. It wasn't Star Wars, it was The Mandalorian. Oh, yeah. Well, like, <laughs> it, it is really good. Okay, so you guys write this down. I think we will be exploring. What? You tell me. Five more seconds, finish up your sentence here. Okay, and I'm gonna have a few people share out their sentence that they wrote. You're gonna share with me your prediction. Okay, what do you think we're gonna study and read about? Okay. So take about another 10 more seconds, wrap up your sentence. Okay, looks like actually everyone's already done. All right, 
Why don't you go ahead and share with us your prediction about what you think we're going to be reading about in this workshop, please. Oh, Falcon, thanks for raising your hand. Um, I think we'll, um, we'll be exploring Mars. I think we'll be um, exploring about the universe, uh, universe and um, being on the Mars. Okay, and then fill in the blank. In, in exploring in Mars. In Finish the sentence in this workshop. Yeah, good. Yeah, so in this oh, workshop. Oh, you told me to. I'll write, write something right there. No, you're good. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to explore Mars and all sorts of space stuff in this workshop. Really great sentence. Beckham, okay. Thanks for sharing that with us. Why don't you go and share this with you? Put please, Alicia. Appreciate you raising your hand and waiting patiently to be called upon. Uh, I think we would both be going beyond in this workshop. Okay, beyond, can you say something beyond? Beyond. Beyond. The you earth. The, beyond the earth, good. So yeah, in this workshop, you're gonna be exploring beyond the earth, okay, which might be outer space or planets, who knows, okay? Anything in between, really great sentence, Alicia. Appreciate you sharing that prediction with us. And then last one, why don't you share with us what you put, please, back, Braden? Uh, I think, I think we'll be exploring space in the workshop. Good, yeah, so in the workshop, I think we're gonna explore space. So if you look at the pictures, okay, thanks for sharing with us. If you look at the pictures, okay, you see an astronaut, you see like, looks kind of like a galaxy, maybe a planet or a sun or something, okay. We already know the title's about Mars, so outer space is a great prediction, Braden. Appreciate you sharing that with your class. Okay. Um, what we're gonna do, so actually I want you guys to flip the page now. So flip to page two, 230, oh. 235, 236. Uh, 236. I say basketball. Okay, yeah, don't, yeah, just hold on to those papers, just keep them at your desk, okay, we'll, we'll get rid of those a little bit later, okay. So, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch the anchor video. So remember, at the beginning of each workshop, there's a little video that kind of tells us about what we're gonna be learning about. So, as we watch the video, think about sci what scientists hope to learn from their exploration of Mars. Okay, so as scientists are exploring Mars, what are they hoping to learn by going there? What's the point of going there? Okay, so just chill, watch the video. Okay. questions might be found on our galactic neighbor, Mars. But how can we investigate a planet that's 140 million miles away? Dandy Verma is determined to get some answers. I really love adventure and exploration. And she doesn't shy away from a challenge. Vandy was just a kid when NASA landed the Viking spacecrafts on Mars to begin the search for signs of extraterrestrial life, like water. The pictures sent back from the robots were our first views ever from the surface of Mars. I remember reading about it and I was just amazed because it was such an amazing thing to do. And I was like, someday I want to work on that. Vandy's fascination with space exploration led her from India to America to study robotics at Carnegie Mellon University. That prepared her to explore Mars from a distance at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab in California. As a rover driver, Vandy's job has been to maneuver two Mars robots. Opportunity and curiosity through deep craters and sandy terrain. The idea is to collect as much data as possible without getting a multi-billion dollar robot stuck forever in the sand. 
and that isn't easy from 140 million miles away. Um, we don't use a remote control to drive them, so we're not driving them in real time. We get the conditions under which the robot is in today. We use those and plan a drive. And then we send it to the rover, and the rover executes it on its own. And then once it's complete, it sends us back the information. The newest rover, Curiosity, can extract samples and analyze them using an onboard chemistry lab. What they found has led to a thrilling breakthrough in the search for life. Water. Mars may look like an extremely arid or dry place. But the rovers Vandy operated have found evidence that Mars was once very much like Earth. With warm salty seas and fresh water lakes. Some of that water still remains. And scientists have long known that where there's water, there may be life. So far the rovers have not found life on Mars. But we may be nearing the day when human space travelers will join them on the surface of Mars to continue the search for life. If that happens, it's journeys like Vandy's right here on Earth that will have paved the way. Bard. Appreciate you listening to the video. Okay, boys, you need to grab your workbooks. Let's go. Grab your workbooks. We're on page 236. Let's go. Guys, grab your workbooks. Let's go. Grab your workbooks. This is class. Gra grab your workbooks. Guys, class is starting. Why are y'all staring at me? This is. Guys, need to grab your workbooks. Let's go. Grab your workbooks, fellas. All right. Uh, we won't need those anymore. Okay. All right. So, um, what we're going to do. Uh, okay, actually, so listen up. I'm going to read the description up here on the top of page. Uh, well, it's right up here on the top of page 236. Okay. Um, so after I read that, we're going to watch the video again. Okay. And then there's an outline that kind of goes along with a few vocab words we're going to go over. And we're going to try and fill that in as we watch the video. Okay. So just listen up. Um, again, as we watch the video, we're going to be thinking about this. So millions of miles separate us from Mars. But distance won't stop scientists from learning more about our neighbor and the solar system. Okay, so meet Vandy Verma, who explores Mars without ever leaving Earth. So guys that showed up late, we're going to start a new workshop to talk about Mars and space exploration. Okay, so um, headphones out. I don't know why I need to say this to you. Walk in late and you already have your headphones out. And so Abraham, you have the headphones out? Okay, just, just making sure. Okay. All right, Miles, can you grab your book? What am I going to do? Still need to grab your book. Okay. Um, so, like I said, I'm just going to go over these vocab words really quick. Okay, we're just going to kind of talk about them, and then we're going to rewatch the video, and we'll fill out the graphic organizer. Okay, so everybody, I want you guys to find these vocab words right here under where it says Bill's background. Okay, so I'll find them. We're just going to say them out loud once, and we'll go over the definition. Okay, appreciate you grabbing that mouth. Okay, so the first word, the word is arid. What's that word, everybody? Arid. Okay, appreciate you saying it with me. So arid just means, like, dry and dusty. So if you think about, like, a, de a desert, that's, like, a perfect example of arid. Okay, so on Mars, it's kind of like an arid climate. It's just, like, dry and dusty as far as we know. Okay. Uh, the next word, the word is extraterrestrial. What's that word, everybody? Extraterrestrial. Okay, I can hear everybody on this side of the room, and this side of the room is silent. Boys, I need to hear you guys, okay? Charlie, we're not doodling right now, okay? All right, so we're saying these words out loud with me. So the word is extraterrestrial. What's that word, everybody? Extraterrestrial. Okay, so everybody on that side of the room, you need to stop saying it. Everybody on this side of the room, I need to hear you guys say the word extraterrestrial. What's that word, guys? Oh, okay, I can do this all period. Uh, uh, the rest of our class is very patient, and they can wait. So the word is extraterrestrial. Back up. Back up. 
Okay, the words extraterrestrial. What's that word, everybody? Extraterrestrial. Oh, Jack, Jack. No, well, you're good, Jack. You don't need to say it. Guys, over here, I need you guys to say it. Okay, we're not moving on. So you guys say it. The words extraterrestrial. What's that word, guys? Extraterrestrial. Okay, I like I can hear Braden and Charlie, but guys here in the back. Okay, you're not too cool to learn how to read. Okay, this is an important word to learn. Extraterrestrial. What's that word, guys? What's that word, fellas? Okay, it's right here on the page. Yeah. What's that word, fellas? Extra treasure, was it? Okay, extraterrestrial. What is it, guys? Guys, we can do this all period. I mean, I know you have voices. Just say it out loud. Everyone else is doing it. We all have masks on. Nobody can see your expressions. Nobody can see if you're frowning, smiling, anything like that. Okay, just say the word. Okay, because it's important for your vocab. So, um, extraterrestrial is just the same thing as basically like an alien or like some species outside of in space. Okay, so um, you've probably all heard of aliens before. Okay, so they come from outer space. So that would be an extraterrestrial. Okay, so if you ever heard of the, the movie called E.T., e. it's pretty old school, it's from the 80s, okay, but that just stands for extraterrestrial. I love E.T. You like that movie? Okay. That. My dad has a plant that is E.T., so we call it E.T. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay, everybody find the next word. The next word is maneuver. What's that word, everybody? Maneuver. Okay, I didn't hear you guys over here. I want to hear you guys say the word. Word's maneuver. What's that word? Maneuver. Maneuver. Good. So maneuver is just kind of like to move around, okay? <laughs> Probably for like difficult, something difficult, okay? The next word is robotics. What's that word, everybody? Robotics. Okay, I like that. I can hear everybody. I just need to hear you say one more time. Words robotics. What's that word? Robotics. Robotics. Good. So robotics are honestly things that move electronically that you use for a remote, most likely. Okay, so we've all driven a remote control something in our lives at some point, most likely. So that's basically robotics. Okay. The next word, the last one, is terrain. What's that word, everybody? Terrain. Okay, I need to hear you guys say it. The word's terrain. What's that word? Terrain. Okay, so terrain just means like the type of landscape that you're on. So desert, um, maybe it's like mountainous, okay, maybe it's rocky, okay, maybe it's sandy. So that's just the type of terrain you're on, just kind of like what's the ground. So right now, the terrain in the classroom is hard title. Yeah. All right, so if we take a look at the um, take a look at the outline here, okay. So like I said, we're gonna rewatch the video, okay, and we're gonna fill out the blanks as we go, okay. I'm just gonna model number one, and then I'm gonna replay the video. So it says, since childhood. Vandy Verma has been fascinated with NASA and space exploration. Okay. When Verma was young, NASA sent the, young, sent the Viking uh, spacecraft to Mars. Vikings sent back our first picture of Mars surface and began the search for blank life. Okay. I know arid is like dry. Okay. I know maneuvers to move around. Robotics are things that humans make. Terrain is just the type of ground. Okay, but I know extraterrestrial means kind of like something out in outer space, maybe like life. So the first blank, it should be extraterrestrial. Okay. okay, so let's go ahead and write that down for number one, everybody. So we're going to write extraterrestrial for number one. I wrote it small. I wrote extraterrestrial. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a big word for a small picture. That's hard. Word. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so let's go ahead and write extraterrestrial in that first blank That's here. That's a long word to write. Chris Miles' book. Uh, it's right there. Oh, my eyes. I'll put that in. Dang, I'm not going to say you're going to play something from the track that everybody else. 
board's right here, so yeah, yeah you're just gonna make a noise. You are. Thank you, Thor. Thank you. I worked hard. You're not. We're all working hard. I worked hard. Five five I worked hard. High five, Jack. Yeah. I did my booking. I know. Hey Karen, could you get my old pencil? No, I said I was out of time. I heard what you said. Well, then why is she getting your pencil? Because I'm getting yeah. a new one. We don't have it out, so we're just gonna, I'm just going to get you prepared so we're good to go. Mm -hmm. Jeff didn't need it. How about we go for a walk, man? Walks are fun. I'm going to walk. walk. You want to come with me? I'll walk you right walk down, down to Mr. Shaw's right. office. <laughs> Go visit oh. some people. I'm I'll walk to town hall. That's I'm where good. I walk. I'm I'm good. Good. Well, I'm done to walk you right down to the principal's office. No, you can just and then get, walk and then get yeah. mommy and daddy on the phone. How are you supposed to be up here? The principal? Yeah, I don't know where they're at. They're supposed to be here. Okay. All right, so we're going to rewatch the video. So I need you guys to follow along, okay? Listen as we watch the video. You're gonna fill in the blanks, okay? So there's four more vocab words, okay? Remember, error just means like dry and dusty, okay? Maneuver means to move around. Robotics is just obviously electronic um, equipment, okay? And then terrain is kind of like what type of um, ground you're on right now. Sand, mountain, whatever, okay? okay. So rewatch the video. Fill the blanks as we go. Okay, we'll go over his class after and just make sure we got all the right answers here. Potentially. Throughout time, we have gazed at the skies and wondered what might exist beyond our own world. Are we alone in the universe? Could humans someday survive on another planet? The answers to these questions might be found on our galactic neighbor, Mars. But how can we investigate a planet that's 140 million miles away? Vandy Verma is determined to get some answers. I really love adventure and exploration. And she doesn't shy away from a challenge. Vandy was just a kid when NASA landed the Viking spacecrafts on Mars to begin the search for signs of extraterrestrial life, like water. The pictures sent back from the robots were our first views ever from the surface of Mars. I remember reading about it, and I was just amazed because it was such an amazing thing to do. And I was like, someday I want to work on that. Vandy's fascination with space exploration led her from India to America to study robotics oh, at Carnegie Mellon oh, wow. University. Right there, one one that permitted her to explore Mars from a distance at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab in California. As a rover driver, Vandy's job has been to maneuver two Mars robots. Opportunity and curiosity through deep craters and sandy terrain. The idea is to collect as much data as possible without getting a multi-billion dollar robot stuck forever in the sand. And that isn't easy from 140 million miles away. We don't use a remote control to drive them, so we're not driving them in real time. We get the conditions under which the robot is in today. We use those and plan a drive. And then we send it to the robot, and the robot executes it on its own. And then once it's complete, it sends us back the information. The newest rover, Curiosity, can extract samples and analyze them using an onboard chemistry lab. What they found has led to a thrilling breakthrough in the search for life. Water. Mars may look like an extremely arid or dry place. But the rovers Vandy operated have found evidence that Mars was once very much like Earth with warm salty seas and fresh water lakes. Some of that water still remains. And scientists have long known that where there's water, there may be life. So far, the rovers have not found life on Mars. But we may be nearing the day when human space travelers will join them on the surface of Mars to continue the search for life. If that happens, 
It's journeys like Bandy's right here on Earth that will have paved the way. Should have been extraterrestrial. So I'm just going to start reading this, okay? I'll read that loud. When we get to the blanks, you guys help me fill it out, okay? Here's what I expect. If you don't have the blanks filled out as we go through this, you're writing them down, okay? So we're going to get all this written down in our books, okay? I'll give you the answers. We'll come up with the answers of class. You just make sure you have them written down, okay? So I'll just kind of start back with, with 1A here. So since childhood, Bandy Verma has been fascinated with NASA and space exploration. When Verma was young, NASA sent the Viking spacecraft to Mars. Vikings sent back our first pictures of Mars surface and began the search for extraterrestrial life. Okay. Verma was fascinated, so she left India to study blank in America. Okay, so what did she leave to study in America? And I heard somebody saying without raising their hand. Thank you, McKaylee, for raising her hand patiently. What did you what answer did you have back there, McKaylee? Um, robotics. <laughs> robotics, that is correct. Okay, so appreciate raising your hand and sharing that with us. So robotics, okay, is what she left. India to study in America. So make sure you got that written down for 1B here. So robotics, good. Appreciate you getting that written down. Okay, doing great. Yeah. 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 What? Wow. Page. Okay, we got 1B. I wrote on the first two down. Wait, so that's right. Wait, yeah. All right. Okay, now we're moving on to two. So it's a oh, question. Is that one, uh, yep, you spelled it right. Doing awesome. Okay. Today, so section two. Today, Verma explores Mars from a distance as a rover driver at NASA. Okay. So NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab. That question. Are, are you gonna wait? Oh, are you gonna give us the answer? Okay, hold on. Let me let me read it and then you can help us out here. So, Verma's job is to blank the Mars rover Curiosity over sandy blank and deep craters. Okay, so Alicia, I want you to help me with that the first blank, and Charlie, I want you to help me out the second one. Okay, so Alicia, Burma's job is to what? Maneuver. Okay, so the word's maneuver. What's that word, Alicia? Okay, it's maneuver. What's that word? Good. Appreciate you taking your time to say that with us. Okay, so her job is to maneuver the Mars Curiosity over sandy, what do you think it is, Charlie? Terrain or arid? Okay, so arid just means like sandy, so terrain is like the way the land is. So in this case, it's going to be terrain. So what's the answer, Charlie? Terrain, actually. Terrain, good. So. That Verma's job is to maneuver the ro Mars rover Curiosity over sandy terrain and deep craters. Okay, so because it's sandy, that's the describing the type of terrain it is in Mars. Okay. Good question. Okay, so put we're we're good. Okay, so listen up, listen up. Hey, here's here's what I want on the last two on these two sentences. Next two sentences, B and C. Okay, I'm gonna read them out loud. When I pause, I want you guys to say the word out loud with me. Abraham, I expect that pointer finger to follow along. Phone in your pocket. Okay, or principal is gonna take it sitting right right behind you, dude. <laughs> so I don't even have to call them this time. I'll just hand it over. Okay. I don't call English teachers. I feel I want to see pointer finger. Okay. All right. 
Okay, so I want to see pointer finger on 2B there, right at where it says Verma plants. Remember, I'm just going to pause. When I pause, I want you guys to say the word out loud with me. Okay, right at the beginning of 2B here, so you know we're not pointing at the paper, we're pointing at the right one there. Okay, thanks for being ready to go, Dylan. Okay, like that you're ready to go back over you go 2B. Okay, starting 2B. Verma plans Curiosity's route and then sends. Good, sends the instructions using computer code. Curiosity extracts and analyzes space. Whoa. What? What? Okay, what are you guys just making up words back there? Okay, we're, Becca, are you checking your cell phone oh, back there? Uh, someone was calling me. I did, uh, just cancel it. You better have canceled that. It's someone was calling me. What am I supposed to do about it? Okay, all right, so we're start. hey, 2C, 2C, everybody, I want to see pointer fingers, 2C. Mm -hmm. 236, Miles. 236, okay. Curiosity extracts and analyzes rock samples using its onboard chemistry lab. Good, appreciate you guys following along there, saying that with me. So I, I heard that side of the room, though, but this side of the room is pretty, pretty weak over here. Okay, I need to hear those voices, actually. Okay, so... Last one, number three. The samples collected by NASA's rovers have led to a breakthrough in the search for life. Okay, I want you to help me out with the answer for <coughs> this one, please, Abraham. Okay. Mars may look blank, but Curiosity has found evidence of water, one possible sign of life. So it might look what? What do you think it is, Abraham? Okay, first one, yeah, so the word's arid. What's that word? Arid. Arid. Okay, appreciate the help there. Okay, so arid, okay. Doing great, Abraham. So arid, remember, arid is dry, okay, and dusty pretty much. So, but they found evidence of water. So it's kind of op not the opposite, but there is evidence of water, okay? Three B, okay. All right, we, we may be nearing the day when humans join the rovers, continue the search for life. Okay, so I don't remember how long ago this story was written, but. What just happened recently with our space exploration to Mars? Does anybody there know? Anybody been paying attention to the news? <laughs> Nobody? You yeah, guys run out of the room when your parents are watching the news? Okay, so um, recently NASA just landed a spacecraft of some kind, robot. not a robot, okay, on Mars. Okay, I don't know. I don't, I don't know too much about it. Anybody know anything about it? Okay, anyway, NASA landed something on Mars recently, and so we've kind of gotten first, like, real close-up pictures of Mars, uh, and they're going to start probably learning more and more. So in your guys' lifetime, space exploration could turn into I don't know what, but I doubt people live on Mars in your life, but, okay, you never know. All right, um... Okay, what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our books away, okay? Um, okay, so 